Y'all check this out. 2930 at six inches deep. Come on, Barber Corner. All right, I need something. I ain't had a coin all day. Ah, oh, there it is. Check this out. Y'all see that? That is gonna be a barber. Let's go. Well, it's been about two weeks since I've been out uh, last time I went out detecting. Actually, the last time I went out, I was with Nugget Noggin back out at that ghost town. And uh, I think I'm gonna title this video, Never Hunted Out, because I'm gonna go back to a yard just about a quarter mile down the road from me that I hunted about five years ago. I had an AT Pro. And uh, I wanna go back over there because uh, I just wanna take my Equinox and see what maybe I've missed. And, and the Equinox usually does really good. And I hope, I hope I find something that I can show you. And then either later on this evening or tomorrow, which will be Saturday, I'm going to go back out to the juke joint where me and Nugget Noggin and my other friend, Navy Man, uh, went out. We just had a killer day. It's just been a good spot for us every time we go out there. But the finds are getting fewer and further between now. So I'm just going to go back out there and see if we, you know, no field has ever hunted out. So we're going to just see what else I can find. And if I find something good, I'll definitely show it to you. So I don't have too far to go, so sit back and I'll see you out in the yard. All right, I'm already on location. Like I said, it was just about a quarter mile away. And uh, last time I hunted this house, the, the best find I found was an early 1900s uh, British large scent, believe it or not. It's right beside the road, so it's going to be a little bit uh, noisy. So I decided, everybody's honking at me, a uh, metal detectorist in his own neighborhood. Um, but anyway, I've, uh, I want to hunt a little bit more thoroughly with the Equinox because it can find a lot of things that sometimes a, 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 a Garrett a Pro did not find. And, but then again, may not find anything. So it's worth the hunt. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I'm looking at. All right, there's the yard, and I uh, found that uh, large scent just right out here. So I'm going to look in this yard one more time. they got a big side yard over there and a big backyard back over here with no shop. I'm going to be hunting today with my Equinox 800. Just going to be up in uh, multi-frequency and uh, in park one, and that's about we're just going to ground balance and noise cancel, and we're going to get at it. Well, let's load up, and let's get to digging. All right, I got a good signal here. 28, 29, about six inches deep. So let's uh, let's live dig this. Let's see. Hopefully, it's going to be a silver. I don't know. Back here in the back of the house. It'd be clad quarter or clad dime. I think I missed it. I think it's going to be in the sidewall. Come on, silver. I hope it is silver. Well, whatever it is, it is not silver. It's going to be a piece of brass. That's why it's ringing up so good. A little bit of design on it. Now, it's going to be a piece of chunk of brass. I'm, I'm by the shop out here, so that's probably why. All right, let's keep going. All right, I was getting a, a solid 22. I am thinking it's going to be a penny, and it's something small. There it is, going to be right in the hole right there. Do you see it? What is this? Let me switch hands right here. It looks like maybe a token. Got a little bit of crud on it. Um, 
Let me, uh, it's going to take a little bit. Let me, let me clean this up and let me get back with you. It's going to be, I think, maybe a token. I'm really not sure what this is going to be. It's got uh, writing on the back of it. We're going to get the uh, holy water out. Some of you are asking, is this really holy water? And no, it's just a gimmick. You know, the Hoover boys got their foo foo juice, and Plugmaster Ford has his squirty squirt. I just thought I would have a little gimmick to no disrespect to the Catholics with their holy water. It's just uh, my, my little water just out of the tap. It's going to be interesting, folks. This is going to be Narodia. This is going to actually be a coin. It's going to be some type of foreign coin, I think. 19, let's see if it, it's got some uh, iron buildup on it. That's why I'm trying to get off. It's not silver. Looks like aluminum, but I can't read. Can you see what that is? I guess it's not going to focus on me. Let me get my other camera here and... Uh, Let's, uh, you see me filming me? How about that? Oh, there we go. 1953. I don't think it's silver. It doesn't feel like silver. And we flip it over. We see some wording there. No, I would... I can't even read it. I've got some uh, acid I can put this in when I get back to the house and clean this up and get a better shot. This is a good find. It's got 50, 50 something on it, 1953. All right, I'm back home and uh, I'm gonna take this little, it's not silver, it, it's gonna be aluminum and it feels like a token, but it, it's got writing on the back like a, it's gonna be some type of foreign coin. And I've got some of this, oxalic acid let me show you and uh, you can just order this offline and um, so we're going to just take some of this we're going to just put it in some of this water and we're just going to let it sit uh, sit in there for about 10 minutes and keep checking it about every 10 minutes and if that will eat it up to where it looks brand new again and you see a little bit of it already coming off so see they can tell you that's aluminum right there so because of that, I don't want to leave it in too long or to eat through that and eat through my coin. So you can see on the back, it's a little white right there as well. So let's uh, put this in the water and let's see see what, what it's going to be. And then we'll look it up online and see what kind of coin this is. So we're just going to put just a little bit in there. Not a whole lot. <clears throat> mm, there we go. Maybe one more little. And we're just going to kind of dissolve it all right <clears throat> and this is what it looks like before and that's the here's the back and so let's just drop it in there and let's just give it 10 minutes and see what it looks like and I'll show you here in a few minutes all right it's been about 10 minutes since I put it in there and you can see here how clean that has become let's get some pictures and we'll do a close-up on it and uh, we'll look this up and see what this is going to be all right you can see I still got a one little iron spot on it right there but I don't want to go much longer because you can see that hole right there and you can, uh, that acid will eat into that. So 1953, 50 cent TA, or I don't know what letter that is. That's so weird. And there's the writing. And that's about the closest I can get on it. Well, I'm still in that little same area where I found that little aluminum uh, foreign coin. It's just over here to my left about, uh, about 15 feet. And I got another little signal here, and uh, it's ringing up a 22, and I thought it was going to be a penny, 
but it's something else. Check this out. All right, I just saw it. There it is right there. It's going to be part of a necklace. A little bit of design on it. Wipe it off on my pants real quick. Yeah. Well, some type of little fancy design on it. Little gold plating, I guess, on the back. Something on the back there. I don't think it's precious. It's just going to be a, something old necklace. I have to do some research on that and see what we come up with. Definitely is an interesting little necklace, though. Check that out. Got all types of design on it. And when you flip it over, got even more design on it right there. I'm going to have to do some research on this one. This is, looks very interesting. It looks plated. It doesn't look uh, gold or silver. But it's got definitely, to clean this up a little bit better, a lot of... Uh, a lot of character on this well i finished up at that house and uh like i said a yard is never hunted out i found that one little old coin and that really neat necklace i'm gonna have to research and so now i am headed out either this evening or tomorrow i'm gonna go out to the juke joint so i will see you out in the field all right it is trivia time in my video they just keep coming that i did with nugget noggin my first dig of the day was an awesome find. Nugget thought it was a gold coin, but it wasn't. But it was something good. And uh, the first one that can answer in the comments below, what type of coin was it and what year was it? Okay, what type of coin was it and what year was it? The first coin that I found on the video, they just keep coming. The first one to answer in the comments below is going to win a PD sticker and a little something extra. So good luck, everybody. All right, I made it out to my location. I'm headed back to the location where me and Nugget uh, hunted that last video that uh, called uh, They Just Keep Coming, where I found uh, some good coins there. But I'm just going back today in that spot and the other spot where research pays off that video and just going to see if I can find anything that's left over. You know, the old adage, like I said before, that nothing is ever hunted out. So I'm just going to go out and just see what I can get. So wish me luck. All right, I got my first signal here. If I can find it again. Kinda, kinda deep. Twelve, thirteen. Pretty deep. All right, let's kind of let's live dig it. And let's see if we can get this. We'll dig a. Let me get my other camera set up. Try to live dig it and see what we come up with. It's going to be a nickel, and we've dug a bunch of nickels out of here. But what kind of nickel is is the question still in the hole? Get in behind it. Hopefully, it's a nickel. I don't think it's a nickel at all. Ah, it's going to be just a, it's going to be a bullet, buckshot. Ah, it fooled me. All right, let's keep on going. All right, it's been a while since I got any good signals. We've hunted this place really well. If there's anything out here, it's few and far between. I've been out here about an hour. And I have just got a couple of bullets, and that's it. But I got a good signal here. So about 18 to a 19. Jumped up to a 22. So I don't know. Could it be an Indian? Let's just kind of do this together. What do y'all think it's going to be? Kind of jumpy for me to be an Indian, but... I'm just happy to get any signal right now. They're so quiet out here. All right. All right. Still in the hole. Ah. 
gosh. That's going to be... I don't see anything, do you know? It's going to be trash. That's all I'm digging today. I don't know. Never hunted out. May be true out here. I'm going to keep searching a little bit longer. I'll give it about another 30 minutes. I'm going to go to up the, the other location, the other second duke joint. And see if we miss anything up there. Me and Nugget clean this one out pretty good. There's got to be one coin out here, though, left over. So let's keep on going. I'm tired. I've been at it for about an hour and a half and didn't find anything out here. So that's good in one way that uh, me and Nugget and uh, my other friend, we are very thorough in our hunting, but that doesn't mean it's, it's hunted out. There's probably still stuff out there if I spent more time. But uh, my day's going on and I want to get down to the second juke joint where me and Nugget Noggin did that video called Research Pays Off. We, uh, we got tired that day because it's real hot and so we didn't hunt certain areas so i'm going to go back and kind of grid those areas off too so i'll see you now down at the next location all right i moved back down here to the uh, location me and nugget hunted all through here and i'm back in that spot where i did my research pays off that video and been out here for about 10 minutes or so and got my first uh good signal let me flip you around and let you look at the numbers here 27 26, 25, 28. All right. Is it going to be a silver dime or silver quarter? I don't know. It could be trash. But uh, let's dig this together and let's see what we get. Let's dig kind of a wide circle. I've hunted two hours at that other place and I didn't find anything. And uh, I sure am hoping. I can find something down here. Well, where'd the signal go? I think it's still down in the hole. There it is. Let's just see if we can put my little Right there. Still down there. It's deep. Kind of. No, nope, I don't think it's going to be a a coin. No, nope, just going to be no bottle cap. That's all it's going to be. Ah, huh? got me excited because we dug barbers out of here, and I, I want a barber. So let's keep on going. I got some friends over here follow me today. There's about twenty of them out here. And these three right here, are my buddies, they're coming back to. Y'all going to help me find a silver barber? I'm looking for one really, really hard, and I'm not having any luck. Y'all know where it is? Did y'all eat it? Yeah, y'all go stand on top of it. Show me where it's at, okay? I'll come back, and I'll dig them out, and uh, I'll get you a bag of feed or something. How about that? Is that a deal? All right, finally got a signal out here, and I'm hoping it's going to pay off. I've been out here about an hour on this second location. First location didn't find anything but bullets. So far out here, just bullets and trash. And uh, talked to the horses a while ago, and lo and behold, they were standing real close to this signal. I told them to go stand on the silver, and I've got a good 2930 here. Y'all check this out, let me turn you around. Y'all check this out. 2930 at six inches deep. It's gonna be right there. Gosh, that's gonna be a 30, 31 to 29. Let's live dig it together. Let's see what we got. We'll dig a little wide hole here. All right. Come on, barber quarter. That's what the other barber quarter was. A 30, 29, 30. All right. I need something. I ain't had a coin all day. All right. It's going to be in the hole. In the... Ah, there it is. Check this out, guys. 
Check this out. Y'all see that? Look right there. Ah, uh, check that out. Let me put it over here. Check that out. Can you see that? That is going to be a barber quarter. Oh, oh I love the impressions. 19, 1902. 1902. Check that out. 1902. You know what? I've dug all day for this quarter. And I'm going to baptize it in some holy water. Time to break out the holy water. All right, let's squirt this a little bit. All right. Get that side. All right. I'll just wipe it on my pants, that little water off. There we go. 19. We're getting here where y'all can see it. There we go. 1902 Barber Quarter. Like we always say, it's never hunted out, is it? This is one that me and Nugget missed. How about that? 1902. Yes! I'll take it. Now let's go. I got some energy now. Let's go up there and see if we can find some more. All right. Let's keep on swinging. 1902. All right. I've been out here for a little over two hours. And I've got one coin. Bullets, trash, one coin. I've got a 24 signal right here, and I'm tired. Even though it's a beautiful day, it's windy, and it's cool, only about 55 degrees today, I'm just wore out, and uh, it's a lot of work for two coins, but I'm just trying to prove a point that a place is never hunted out. You can uh, always find something if you take the time and look for it. So let me show you around, let me show you what I got here. 24, 26, 25. All right, that's going to be, uh, it could be silver. It could be silver. So uh, let's uh, get our mark right there. And uh, let's go around and let's live dig it. Just in case this is a silver dime. I'm going home, boys and girls. I'm wore out. Let it be a silver dime before I can go home. All right. Not in the hole. It's going to be right in there. I don't see anything yet. All right, it's going to be in the quad. All right, still in the clod. Oh, look, look, look. That is going to be one dime. One dime. Let's set it right up up there. Is it going to be barber? Or is it going to be seated? Let's uh, flip it over together. Let me just pop that off. Yeah, it's going to be barber. It's going to be a barber. Let's get the, some water on it. And uh, just in case it's a key date. If it is, it's going to be pretty worn out. I can tell you right now it's worn out. Pretty thin. Let me wipe it on my pants. Dry it up. All right, what is it? Can y'all tell what it is? I can't tell. 18. Ah, I broke the 1800s. It'll be 1899. I'll take that. That's not a bad find for the last find of the day. I'm tired. Two hours to get two coins. I'm wore out. Definitely worth coming out 
and uh, digging that. Anytime you get a barber, that's worth it, isn't it? 1899. She's a slick baby. She's slick. All right, let's get some pictures. Let's go do a wrap up at the truck. Let's call it a day. All right, well, I made it back uh, to the truck. Got everything laid out for a wrap up. And uh, my objective for this hunt was just to go show you that never, nothing's ever hunted out. You may not go back and find a lot, but you'll find something in places that you've hunted before. And so I found two good things at the, at the house location and two great things today out here in this field. And so it just goes to show you it's never hunted out. So let me show you what I got. All right, here we go. Definitely found a lot of bullets and uh, got a debuckle. And uh, at the other location, I didn't get any Wheaties, but I got uh, three uh, dime and two uh, memorials. I got this cool looking little locket. I mean, this uh, necklace, it's actually got four different things. It's a, I think it's Catholic jewelry. It's got St. It's got Christopher, St. Joseph. It's got uh, the miracle something there, and it's got the, uh, the sacred heart there. And um, then it has some writing here on the back. That's really neat. I have to look that up. Another interesting coin that I found over there was this. Uh, I already cleaned it up. I uh, showed you in the show in the video how I did it with it, that acid. But it's a 50, 50 para. It's made out of aluminum. It's like a token, but it's actually Yugoslavian coin. Uh, back when the Russian USSR had it in 1953, uh, USSR uh, when it was Yugoslavia. And so uh, today, those countries are no longer there. It's just uh, Slovakia, I believe, or uh, whatever two countries they split up. But that's a cool little find. Cleaned up really nice. But the finds of the day are going to be this um, 19, 1899 Barber Dime. It's pretty toasty and slick. But I'll take that. Boy, that was a good find. And the best find of the day is going to be it's 1902. Looks like it's been hit. It's indented there with the plow or something hit it through the years. 1902 Barber Quarter. I'll take that. Me and Nugget missed these two last time we were out here. and uh, But that's just the way it goes. Well, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what can be found out in the field or in a house lot. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends, and keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. God bless. <laughs>